talk about the tools available to you in SheetCam, uh, the, the tools across the top uh, in the toolbar, and uh, some of these uh, dialog windows. Uh, so first thing that you've got, um, let's, let's talk about these first. Th these are the buttons you'll be using the most. And uh, if you roll over it, it'll tell you what it, what it is and what it does. Uh, the, uh, the arrow is to view, view tool paths, and um, really that's all you can do with this selected. You, know, you can't do anything else. So uh, the S is for editing start points, and that's where you're going to be most of the time. When you're creating a tool path, uh, you want to have that S selected. Uh, T we don't use. That's for tabs. That's a routing function. Uh, A, again, uh, is not for plasma cutting. Uh, it's more for routing. Uh, C is for edit contours, and we do use that. Uh, with uh, the C selected, we can't actually edit a DXF file, but we can change layers. Uh, we can take one, en one entity and put it on a different layer change a layer, create a new layer. So we'll talk about that more uh, in later videos. Uh, the nesting is uh, going to allow, allow you to move parts around the screen, duplicate parts, uh, rotate them, uh, things like that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. These four tools are the ones we're going to use most. Uh, view, edit start point, edit contours, and nesting. Uh, moving to the left, we have our zoom tools. So we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can zoom to fit the part, we can zoom to fit the job, we can zoom to fit window, uh, we zoom to fit the entire material in the view, or fit the machine in the view. Uh, most of the time, uh, what I do is I just use the mouse wheel. And wherever the mouse is, that becomes the center of your your zoom. So if you want to zoom in, if you're right here, but you want to zoom in over on the left side, just zoom out, move your mouse, zoom back in. That's about it to, for zooming. Now these buttons up here are going to uh, hide or, or show different aspects of the toolpath. And basically that's everything right here. And we pretty much want everything selected except show true width. Uh, every now and then I'll go ahead and I'll turn off direction arrows also, especially on a small part, direction arrows can get in the way. Uh, moving to the left, uh, we have uh, the post processor. So after we create uh, a G-code or, or we create an operation on a part, uh, we're going to actually hit this green P to, to post the job. Uh, you're actually going to save a file twice in in, in SheCamp. Uh, the first time when you finish uh, setting up a job, you're going to say save job. Okay, and that saves a .gob job file. And that's so you can open the job later, edit it, modify it. If you're having trouble with it and I need to do a remote with you, the first thing I'm going to do is ask you to open your job file so I can see what's going on. So after we save the job, then we're going to uh, either hit File, Run Post Processor, or we're just going to hit the green P and run the post. And what that'll do is it'll create the G code. The G code is what the machine runs on. And that G code is going to appear over here in the code editor window. Um, this is your uh, parts list. So when we import parts, they're going to show up right here. This is your layers window. Uh, most of the time your parts are going to be on one layer. You're not going to have multiple layers. So you'll just see one layer here. But if you have multiple layers, this is really handy for figuring out what's on each layer. We'll go more into that uh, in later videos. Uh, the tools window is going to, uh, th these are all your available tools. Now, in, um, on our machine, we, we don't set the uh, feed rate in sheet cam. We set it out on the machine. So your tool selection is based on your curve width. 
Okay, so you can create more tools if you want to, or, or just select the closest one right here. So for something like a 45 amp, uh, 45 amp cut, maybe 16 gauge, 12 gauge metal, we're going to be about a 0.05 curve. You know, if we step up to 85 amps, uh, 105 amps, somewhere in there, we're going to be up into 08, 09 possibly. Uh, if we want to center mark a, a, a hole and for punching or drilling later on, then we would use the drill tool. If we're scribing with the scribe tool, then we're going to use the scribe tool. Uh, so th that's it for the tools. There's not a lot of them, and there doesn't need to be, because you set your, uh, your pierce delay, uh, your cut height, your pierce height, and your feed rate are all set on the machine, and they're not attached to a tool here in Sheet Camp. Uh, and the last window here is your operations window. And uh, this is where you set your operations. So you'll, you'll have a, uh, uh, an image over here, a DXF loaded here. And uh, this is where you're going to create your tool path and actually create an operation on that. Uh, and that's about it for, for the operator interface. Um, spend some time going over it. And... Uh, in the next uh, series of videos, we'll, we'll go into actually laying out some parts, and we'll see you in the next video.